Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm gonna make a quick video uh, about uh, NAND removal and I wanna try this new tool uh, it's a very flexible and uh, thin layer which helps uh, to remove ICs and stuff like that so let's get started and uh, I'll better I'll better use only this camera you can see how flexible it is and I believe will do a great work And let's try mm, let's use And yep, I think I did a great job. This tool is is really cool to have because uh, it allows you, it allows you to get under really tiny places. Uh, 
I managed to lift the nand without uh, removing any of those tiny compo components around. Uh, let me show you what I mean. I'm talking about these guys over here. There, they can be easily knocked of the way. But uh, this tool did its job. So here is the nand. See, I didn't scratch it or anything like that. And let's try and clean. the underfill Yep, I really like this thing. It's it's so flexible that even if you if you want to knock uh, something off with this, you you can't because as long as you put just a little pressure, then is designed to to handle to handle and it will flex and i believe it's ideal ideal for this kind of jobs and of course it has uh, many different shapes You can choose between this one it has this one which I believe it's a 
it's better than the one I use now to remove underfill and glue and many more different curves I believe will help me a lot uh, So yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope I'll see you next time.